When should you fire a cleaning client? Steve Hansen here, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleanbiz.com. Say, so, you know, there comes a time when you have to fire your client. You know, and it could be for various reasons, but, you know, probably the first one that really comes to mind is if they're not paying on time. Uh, you know, uh, generally for residential you don't have that issue, but for commercial cleaners, you know, if we have our terms set for prepay or whatever it may be, or it may be 15, the terms are 15 days, uh, 30 days, uh, 30 days is kind of the norm, but uh, even that, uh, if you can shorten that, that's even better. But when you have a client that's, uh, that's out 60 days, 90 days, and they still haven't paid you yet, and this is becoming a common theme, um, you may consider firing that client. Uh, it's just not worth it. You're not a bank. Uh, you can't afford to, to finance them because that's essentially what you're doing. You still have to pay payroll, you have to pay your suppliers, so that really becomes an issue. You know, it hurts your cash flow. So that would be one reason. Uh, the other reason could be is that uh, uh, low profit. It's just an account that you, you, you bid low uh, and uh, you finally come to realization that you really, you're not making any money on it. You're making some very low profit or no profit at all in some cases. So that may be time that you go ahead and uh, terminate that client. Now, in another incident, maybe that uh, client is demanding. Uh, they, you know, they, they take up a lot of your time. Uh, they, they demand a lot of things. Um, so maybe in that instance, it's maybe time to terminate them. Because are they really worth a majority of your time? You know, maybe it's a small client. Maybe they're a one-time-per-week service. Uh, maybe you're making, you know, 500 bucks a month. Uh, are they really worth your time? When you, when you actually calculate the amount of time that you're spending uh, spending with them because they're so demanding. Now something else to think about is uh, if they're always complaining. <laughs> you, know, they, uh, uh, you know, they could be complaining about everything and anything and it's just like they, they call you every time you provide service the next day they're calling or emailing, complaining about something. Uh, it may be time to terminate them. Now and obviously this, is, this one here uh, if they're doing things that are illegal or unethical, um, you terminate. You 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 know end that relationship. Is you just don't want nothing to do with it. And there are companies out there that are, are that do such things. So what you want to do is, if you're thinking about terminating a client, first of all, make sure that you take a look at your agreement and your contract. Make sure that you know take a look at the termination statement. See what that says. Uh, Generally, people will have a clause in there that you can give a 30-day notice and either party can get out. And, uh, you know, that's usually the best uh, best type of agreement to have. It's called an evergreen agreement. But, um, you know, in some cases, uh, let's say you decide to go ahead and terminate the client. Uh, I usually, when I've done this, I've done it a few times. Uh, you know, I'll meet with them uh, face to face and uh, tell them that, you know, I'm sorry, it's just not working out. Uh, and I'm going to be giving you our notice. And uh, in some cases, maybe you'll come to an agreement that uh, you'll end services, you know, within seven days. Could be next week, or it could be the next day, in some cases, uh, or it could be 30 days. But in either case, um, you know, um, have that conversation with them so you know that okay, this is our end date. Uh, this is when we will no longer provide service for you, and uh, go ahead and. Uh, uh, um, you know, end the relationship. Uh, you know, and don't really, don't burn the bridge uh, when you do end that relationship. You know, sure you're, you're terminating the, 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 your client, but still uh, don't make it an ugly parting. Um, you know, so be careful what you do there. No matter how angry you might be about something, always be professional. Uh, stay, uh, stay, uh, stay professional and, uh, you know, have a good attitude. Uh, just explain to them that it's just not working out and uh, you know, we no longer can uh, provide service to your, to your, uh, to your facility, and uh, we will be ending service on such and such a date, and just end it that way. Uh, that makes a nice clean, uh, clean break, and uh, you know, then uh, if they do owe you money, uh, let them know that you will be sending them their last and final invoice uh, to collect payment, 
and you know, obviously if, if it's that's the issue why you're terminating them and if they're, they're 90 days out or so well then you may want to let them know that that's the reason why you're terminating service uh, because you haven't been paid and uh, you've saw, sent multiple invoices you've contacted them multiple times and you still haven't got paid and then you probably maybe let them know that you turn it over to collections but in either case uh, you know some, um, you just want to try to try to make the the uh, the parting as happy and as pleasant as possible. So, well, that's it. That's all I have. Uh, so, hopefully, you found some of this uh, information useful. If you did, go ahead and click on the like button down below. And uh, remember, uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And always watch for uh, all the new videos that we have uh, on multiple topics. So, uh, just check them out. Uh, I'm sure you're going to find them helpful, and they're going to help you move your business forward.